you know, so today I'm going to do a comparison between the scale I've been using to measure my wife's, um, uh, doing her, her taper from benzodiazepines, which is the Gemini 20, which is known across many forums um, as a great accurate scale, um, and compare it to one that I just bought called the Only Lab. Um, which as you can see, there's a big size difference. Um, this one was advertised as a, you know, a lab grade industrial strength um, scale, which weighs from 100 grams down to 0 0.001 grams. Um, it was advertised as a highly high precision uh, scale. Um, and I thought with the $100 that it would be a bit um, better than this uh, Gemini 20 um, high precision scale. Um, one difference is that um, the Gemini 20 is battery powered. This one here is a uh, plug-in, which I thought would be great. Um, Gemini 20, you can see here, I'll leave a link with um, the, uh, the product info for both in the uh, video. You can see it's high precision, weighs up to 20 grams, down to 0 0.001 grams, which is one milligram. Includes a curing case to keep the scale protected from transporting or storing. It has a number of different types of weights. Comes with this cool little dish if you're measuring powder. And also comes with these nice tweezers, which I've been using um, to move the pill back and forth from the, from the scale. This one didn't come with this, the, uh, the dish or the um, with the tweezers. It did come with a big glass case up here to, to shield it from the wind. But as you can see, you can do the same thing with the Gemini by just putting the cover on top. So we're going to calibrate each and let's see what they do. So see I turned it on. So to calibrate the Gemini 20, it's not too intuitive. It just says on after the instructions, but you have to press on a second time for a bit until it says cal for calibrate. Then you got to go and press it down for a third time until it says 10 gram. And so the way that this one calibrates is you have two weights. So the first step is to calibrate at 10 grams and then it asks to calibrate at 20 grams. All right. Which I usually just put the weight on top. All right, now it says um, pass. So I'll remove the weight. And hold. There we go, it goes down to 10 grams. Great, so that means it's calibrated. Um, okay. So now we're gonna calibrate the only lab. Only lab has a calibration button. So we press this guy. Press this cal. You see it's asking for the 100 gram weight. I'm guessing because it's industrial strength, it can weigh higher weights. And you can see it's saying it's 100 gram. And that it's um, calibrated. All right, so now that they're both calibrated, we're gonna test to see how much it believes um, one of uh, the pills weigh. Typically, these pills weigh um, 169 milligrams, which is 0.169 grams, or 17, or, or 0.17, sorry, or 0.168. So, you could see that the Gemini 20 Got around the money, so I feel confident that that's calibrated now. It looks good. Sometimes you'll have inconsistencies, and so I recommend that you weigh three times and weigh another pill if you know if you see one of the pills is off. So now we're gonna try the only lap. Perfect. It's showing one seven, which is great. See you a second time. And that's weird. It's showing 167 now. Now the scale shows 0 0.006 negative. A bit odd. So it's almost as if it needs to be recalibrated. Let me try a second time on the Gemini. You see it's pretty consistent at 16.8. You'll see some fluctuations is because we're going to such a high precision, right? You're trying to weigh down to the milligram and so it'll be moving. Um, it's 
especially with any wind, if, if you breathe on it, right? And so that's why you want to keep it on a stable surface. So I have a very stable table that I use and keep it away from any winds or ventilation, etc. All right. So this one's been pretty consistent. Let me try to recalibrate this guy and give it another chance. Let me turn it off. Turn it on. Go to calibrate. Okay, it's asking for the 100 gram weight. Calibrating. Okay, it's calibrated. Now let me try this tiny pill. 168, which is great. And I'm gonna remove it. Inconsistent. Second half. National one six six. We know that it's one six eight, so it's really weird. I'm gonna try the Gemini again. Look at that. So, based on this, I have a bit of concern with this Omni Lab. I'm gonna return it. I'm um, gonna keep using the Gemini 20 here. It's been dependable. Um, it's easy to put away and it's, you can see the size here. One's huge, the other one is pretty good weight. And um, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. Hope that was helpful for some of you. And if you have any questions, you know, please feel free to ask in the comments below. Thanks.